friends! Another week has gone by already, and that means it's time for craft time with Miss Jen. So we've been making musical instruments. Last week we took a break and we made turkey handprints, but we're back to instruments now. So today we're going to make a tin can drum. Doesn't that sound exciting? Here's what you need. You need a tin can, and parents you're going to want to make sure that the tin can is not sharp around the edges because we are going to be pulling um, a balloon over top of it, so we want it to be nice and safe. You're going to need scissors, a glue stick, a piece of construction paper, which you can find um, in the packet that we sent you already. And then in this week's packet, you also received a baggie that has some items in it. You have some stickers that we're going to use to decorate when we're all done making the drum, a balloon, and a really big rubber band. I don't know if you can see that. Mine's really big. You have one too in your baggie. Alright, so we don't need a baggie. We can put that to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do to make my tin can drum is I'm going to wrap a piece of construction paper around the outside of it. To do that, I already measured this ahead of time. If you hold the paper hot dog length and fold it in half like a hot dog bun, fold it right in the middle, and then we're going to cut right along the crease in the middle of this. Parents, if you want your kiddos to cut this, after you fold it, you can take your marker a dark marker and draw a line on the crease that way they can follow the line while they cut it. So we're going to cut this piece of paper in half. Okay, we only need one piece so I'm going to put this off to the side and we have our glue, glue stick. We're going to, it almost fits right in the center of that can. What we're going to do is Wrap it around the can. Okay, so we gotta put a little glue on there so it'll stick. So I'm gonna look to see where the paper ends. I'm gonna let that fold down, and from all along here, I gotta put glue so that the paper will stick and it will stay around the drum. Okay, I'm gonna pull that paper back around, smooth it out so it'll stick. Okay, if you have some tape laying around, you could probably throw a little piece of tape on there. Okay, the next step is we have to put something on here that we can tap like a drum. So in your packet you had a balloon. Now to get this to stretch over the can we actually have to cut off this little end that's on the end of the balloon. So we're going to take our scissors and you can snip like almost up to where it starts to go out on the sides. It just makes it easier to stretch over the tin can. So we're going to cut that off. So that's also extra. We don't need that little piece anymore. So I'm going to put that in my garbage pile. Okay, now you're going to open the balloon up and stretch it across the tin can. This can be a little difficult, so it might take two adults to do this. Or maybe the, your kiddo can hold, hold on to the can for you. All right. I'm just going to use my body here, stretch it across. All right, almost have it there. All right, now you do want to pull it down a little bit on the side here, um, but do be very careful because the balloon will rip kind of easily if you pull on it too hard. See, just like that, but that's okay. So I'm not going to pull on it anymore because it's starting to rip. The next step is to, we're going to wrap the rubber band around the top of the can. 
on the rubber band so that you can, the balloon won't roll off. That's why we have a big stretchy rubber band. Let me see how many times I can wrap it around. That was one. I'm gonna pull it and stretch it two, three times, I guess. My rubber band's gonna fit around there. Okay, there. Now, we have the top of our can. Let's test it out a little bit. You hear that? We got a drum. All right, now, I did send some stickers. So you can put your stickers on and decorate your can. Or you could take your markers or your crayons and um, you could write your name on it or you can draw a picture on it, whatever you want. I'm gonna put my stickers all around it here. I could put a couple on top to decorate the top of the can. And you know what, I'm gonna use one of my stickers. I'm gonna put it on the crease where the paper where I glued the paper. Maybe that'll help hold my paper on. Okay, a couple more. I have three more. One. Let's see. Two. And three. Okay, now it's time to play our drum. So what you want to do is look around your house and see what kind of items you think you could use to play your drum. I was looking around my house and I grabbed a couple things already. Of course, I already have my fingers. My fingers can play the drum. You can use one finger and do it softly, or you could use all your fingers and play a little louder. Okay, so while I was looking around, and I found a popsicle stick. Let's see how that sounds. I like it. All right, I also found a marker. I wonder if this is gonna sound different or the same as my popsicle stick. Let's listen and find out. Kind of sounds the same, I guess. The next thing I found, I have a little kiddo, his name is Carter, and he has a toy xylophone. So I found the little stick that he uses to play his xylophone. Let's see how this sounds. It has a big N and it has a little N. I'm going to play the big N first. That drum makes it bouncy so the stick bounces right back up. I'm going to try the smaller end now. I think they sound a little different. I think the little end, the sound is a little softer, and when I use the big end, it's a little bit louder. Okay, last thing I found, a little hammer. I want to be really careful though, because I don't want to hit my drum too hard and break it, but let's see how it sounds. a big end on it so it's a little bit louder all right so after you make your drum I want you guys to make a video of you playing your drum and I want to see all the cool things you found or could think of to play your drum with see you later